Welcome to clickmyproject.com. The project title is Generalized Code Index Modulation Technique for High Data Rate Communication Systems. The project abstract is We propose a generalized code index modulation technique for direct sequence spread spectrum communication. At the transmitter, the bit stream is divided into blocks, in which each block is divided into two sub blocks, mapped and modulated sub blocks. At the receiver side, the spreading code index is first estimated, thus resulting in a direct estimation of mapped sub blocks bits. The proposed modulation scheme can achieve a high data rate than the conventional DSSS systems with lower energy consumption and complexity. The project flow diagram is to calculate the high data rate for code index modulation technique. Initially, we create on system model for modulation scheme. In this process, we use on frequency modulation, that is FM. In our process, using code index modulation for direct sequence spread spectrum, that means DSSS. Next, we analyze the SER, it means simple error rate for transmitting antenna. Next, we analyze the BER, it means bit error rate at transmitting side for AWGN it means antenna waveguide propagation next we calculate the energy efficiency for throughput and SNR it SNR means signal to noise ratio finally we measure the performance for code index modulation for high data rate transmission our project source code file was run from the command window in current folder shows the, the many files in our source code file was stored from the main.m so we have to run the main.m file the process will be going on After run our process, the workspace will show on. In that workspace, we have to check the variables values. It is up to minimum and maximum values are. We have to check our workspace values. In figure 1 shows that the analytical VR and simulation for CIM system with MPSK and PSK modulations. In that graph, we have to use the analytical PR and semi-analytical PR. It is the transmission line antennas. In next label shows that the EB by N0 and Y label shows that the BER. In figure 2 shows that the analytical BER and simulation for CIM system with MPSK and PSK modulations. Where the analytical BER and semi-analytical BER transmitting from the EWGN antennas where the SNR value is minus 10 dB. In X label shows that the EB by N0 and Y label shows that the BER. It is the graph for our CIM system with MPSK modulation. In figure 3 shows that the complexity comparison of proposed CIM. Our CIM system will show on the black color line and QPSK systems are shown in the red color line. When X label shows that the number of mapped bits per bench and Y label shows that the number of operations. In figure 5 shows that the complexity comparison of the proposed CIM. When the number of transmitted antenna is 2, the SNR value is minus 20 means that line will be like that. In X label shows that the number of map bits per branch and Y label shows that the number of operations. It is the proposed CAM. In figures it shows that the complexity comparison of the proposed CAM where the number of antennas and receivers will be increased the SNR values also increase. 
our proposed CA method is shown on the red color. In X label shows that the number of mapped bits per branch and Y label shows that the number of operations. In figure 7 shows that the QPSK with antenna waveguide propagations. In X label shows that the signal to noise ratio and Y label shows that the bit error rate. Our proposed SCR value will be shown on black color line where proposed CM values are n equal to 2 and capital N equal to 1 like that the values are changing according to that value the graph also varying in figure 8 shows that the performance comparison of our proposed CAM and the SM systems our SM transmission will be shown on blue color arrow line in our proposed CAM method are shown in the black color line and blue color line in X label shows the EB by NR and Y label shows that the BER. In figure 9 shows the our mapped bits and transmitted bits to calculate our bit error rate. It is the 3D graph of our final data rate comparison graph. Our project demo was completed. Thanks to watching this video.